and I laughed at him. And I said, what? They said, you can't fuck that many women in a year. And what was it, 150, or maybe 156 women, I said. I said, how many weeks are there in a um, month? I mean, how many weeks are there in a year? They're 52. I said, so if you go out on a Friday night, a Saturday night, and a Sunday night, and even Thursday nights too, I could be bumping. Almost every night you can go out to a club out here, especially up in Tokyo, but in Osaka, Thursdays, Friday nights, Saturday nights, Sunday nights, Monday nights, and Wednesday nights. Six days out of the week, there's some clubs going on with women being all the time and stuff. But I just said, just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I said, you're telling me that every week, and y'all supposed to be multi- multi super pimped out players that you can't um, go to a club on a Friday night, a Saturday night and a Sunday night and get a different girl every week that's a hundred and yeah 156 yeah 156 women and they did the math and like oh yeah that's true and I just busted a left I'm like man you guys man y'all y'all trip and stuff you know but do Mike you know he been out here for a while, that dude, man, he got some women, so I can't really say anything about him, but, you know, when I first met him, and now he kind of, like, lost his his touch and stuff, you know, but, yeah, you guys come out here, and only thing I can say is a lot of women out here, they, they doing their thing, you know, they, they, they probably, they ain't living no different than what we live in, you know, our brothers hanging on the corners, my, um, my, um, those family mart Lawson videos and stuff. That's what people do at night. You just drive by um, a Lawson's and almost, almost at every Lawson, not everyone, but where some people live and stuff, um, you'll see them hanging out. And the one that's in my videos, that's probably one of the most popular one in that in that area. And people come from far to go there. And that um, SUV video that's at that same Lawson's, they come down there and they, they cars and low riders and a Benzes and Mercedes and Lexuses and a SUVs, Navigators and Escalades and they be all dressed up. The cars be all pimped out and stuff and everybody just be out there partying, drinking. Well they won't be drinking because you can't drink and drive out here. But some people that some people do drink. And I guess other people drive, I don't know. And the girls they just be coming in flocks like they got those little bitty uh, vans and minivans and stuff. They'll come four pack, four and you know they jump out in their little mini skirts or whatever. You talk to them, guys have their little um, vans and stuff, and next you know they open up their little vans and stuff, and the girls jumping in there and they drive off and come back. You know I don't know what they go off to, maybe they go cardio or whatever. I don't know, but this one Japanese guy, he's the only one that ever told me that I was at the beach in Wakayama, Katanami Beach, Katanami Beach, I think it's called, and. Uh, he said, you know what, you want to get Japanese girls, never rape them, never. Just walk up to them and be nice and say, how you doing? And um, let me have your number. And uh, I think he said something like, offer to pay them some money for sex or something like that. And he said, but a lot of them won't take the money or something. I forgot what it was. But anyway, I think it was that, that I'm think it was like that but he said never forced him but he told me basically he was just saying you know just talk to him just talk to him you can get him easy you ain't you don't really have to do much because most of these women they're walking around here and they're always wet this one girl I know name uh, this one girl I'm not gonna tell you name but uh one day we were sitting in a car and stuff and we was talking and stuff started touching it I was like damn you so wet and she said I'm always wet I'm like, what? She's like, yeah. She's like, I'm always wet. And I'm like, man. And a lot of these girls are. Oh, you walk up, you know, in America, you know, you shake someone's hand. Out here in Japan, people don't, the girls don't shake hands because as soon as you touch them, they get all emotional and sensitive and they just psh, wet their pants and stuff. So out here, girls don't shake hands. You know, you better off just saying, let's just go to a hotel and instead of trying to shake their hands. And like one day I was at a corner and um, it was this, um, one girl, me and my brother, it was my brother, I was at, you know, corner, I had my camera, not my video camera, just a regular camera, and this girl, her friend walked up, my gosh, she was beautiful, I couldn't believe it, I mean, she was dressed nice, but she was just beautiful, and I just looked at her and said, how you doing, she said, fine, I said, may I hug you, and she's like, sure, 
It gave me a big, tight, very tight, strong hug. Just squeezed me and finished. And everybody on the corner, too, was, like, tripping. And some white guys, white people that are listening, they were there, and everybody was, like, tripping and stuff. And so they crossed the street. My brother's like, I can't believe you did that. And some other friends that was with us, too, I guess. I can't believe you did that. And the white guys were like, man, that was so cool. I ain't never seen nobody just walk up and ask a girl to hug them and stuff. And she just said, yeah. I'm like, you know, people are human beings, you know. People, everybody want peace. It's just some people, you know, they don't want peace. Or they don't want to disturb their little nest, you know. So you let them have their little nest. Don't try to join their little nest. Let them, let them be. Create your own. And, uh, hello, how are you? Bye-bye. One of my students just walked by. And, um, but yeah, you know, and things like that just happen, you know. And a lot, and a lot of the brothers out here, and like everybody said, oh, I'm cool and stuff because I got this car. That's all I got is the car. I don't chase women for sex. You know, I just go out and enjoy myself, you know, because I'm going to tell you, when it comes to uh, me actually going after the sex, I can start the conversation and I can get all the way to like 80%, but that 90 and 100, you know, it just screws me up. So I just got to be out there just relaxing and, and let the women do all the work. You'd be surprised how much a yes goes to coffee or just walking. Hey, let's sit down with what you want to do. You know, like, well, I don't care, or whatever. In Japan, a lot of girls can't say no. So instead of saying no, they'll beat around the bush. But they might want to go to a hotel, but you have to know how they're talking. Or they might want to be with you, but you have to know how they're talking to, um, to um, understand whether or not to understand whether or not they want to be with you. Or if they're really saying, yeah, 